The GMA cover story now. More one on one with James, King James, as the NBA star heads to Los Angeles, as you know, to join the Lakers. He's opening up about something that is very close to his heart his new school for at risk youth in his beloved hometown of Akron, Ohio. And he sat down with ESPN's Rachel Nichols to talk about it and so much more. Great to have you here with us, Rachel. Robin, wow. Wait until we take you inside this school. It is incredible. And of course, LeBron coming west to L.A. has been absolutely seismic for the NBA. But while this is one of sports' biggest stars ever, heading to one of most sports' most iconic franchises, it's also a bit of a basketball risk, at least for the rest of us. LeBron told me he just sees it as an opportunity. You're turning 34 this season, though. Um, how do you feel about the idea that what could be one of the last years of your prime is going to be more of a building year? I don't even look at it like that because I don't feel like this is one of the last years of my prime. I think that's another statistic number. And I've, uh, I've always been a part of uh, you know, beating the odds in, in life. So being around my kids, allow, it, it gives me even more and more time in my youth. <laughs> We've been seeing you around and with your son. Yeah. What has it been like for you to be watching him growing into this basketball player and dealing with the pressure of being your kid. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's been challenging for all of us, but um, it's been fun. I, I love it, you know, because um, he get an opportunity to feel uh, some of the things that I had to go through. Um, yeah, but he's called LeBron James Jr. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> the thing is, our, our kids are so awesome that they don't even get caught up into it. Um, you know, we don't, no one calls him LeBron around our house. No one calls him Junior around the house. We call him Bronny. Every day he wakes up saying, I got to make sure I look out for my little brother and my little sister and be a, you know, a great young man, you know, um, you know, make my mom and dad proud and everything else kind of takes care of itself. So, you know, it's always pretty awesome to kind of just see him grow and grow every day and then play the game that he likes to play, not what I want him to do. He loves to play the game of basketball and have fun with his teammates and uh, he plays it the right way and that, that makes me happy. Now he wants to make kids in his hometown of Akron, Ohio, happy too. This week, the LeBron James Family Foundation is opening a public school for at-risk youth. I know exactly what these kids today are going through being a part of this. You know, in the fourth grade, I missed 80 days of school. We didn't have a car. Uh, the city bus didn't come to where, you know, where, where I was living. Um, but anytime I would show up to school, it, it's weird. The teachers would always tell my mom that when he shows up, he's one of the best students that we have. We just hope that he can show up more. You've said that line of, hey, I could have been a statistic. Yeah, absolutely. You're a guy who has won three NBA titles, mm -hmm. four MVPs, and yet you will tell anyone who listens that mm -hmm. opening the school today yeah. is one of the greatest moments greater than any of those. And I got tape of you in game seven of the NBA finals. So are you, are you, <laughs> do you mean it? I do. I do mean it. Um, it it's, I can sit here and be a loss of words, which I am now. We literally have a school. It's a real life school, you know, in my hometown. And this is a. Uh, this is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> and this school offers all of the extra support and resources you can imagine, even food. You know, it's hard to learn when you're hungry, so the school gives kids breakfast, lunch, and a snack every day, and it's all free. Robin, it is a public school. That's huge, a public school. It's not a charter school nope. or private school, it is a public school. And after all he's accomplished, He's just a dad, but he's watching his son play. LeBron James basketball <laughs> dad. It's a role he's been working toward his whole life. And, you know, we did that interview yesterday. Right. He told me he just got his voice back because he was screaming so much at his son's <laughs> games all weekend. That's great. Good to have you here, Rachel. Great Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.